passport bros are real? Do they not know they're gonna be black everywhere they go? What? Which means they are strategically picking countries that are stereotyped for having very relaxed, if any, rules around these two things. There's something so beautiful um, about a woman that's able to be vulnerable and admit that she was wrong. Hey guys, welcome back to more to life. Now, I got another one for you today, guys. Before I get into it, I ask that you please like, comment, subscribe. Also, be sure to click the notification bell to be sure that you get my videos as soon as I release them. Now, guys, you already know what it is. More passport hating women. But anyway, let's hop right into it, guys. Okay, so a comment on my video sent me down a rabbit hole. I don't ever want to go down again. Passport bros are real? There's this group of like seven black men on TikTok with like passports and saying they're going to other countries to find more submissive women. I no, 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 no. Do they not know they're gonna be black everywhere they go? Like an African American everywhere they go? Wait, where are these other countries? Are they going anywhere in Europe? Probably not. Oh, they're manosphere bros which means they are strategically picking countries that are stereotyped for having very relaxed, if any, rules around these two things. So they're going to other countries not to find submissive wives, but to find women and girls that they... Yeah, nah. Don't... This is real, bro. What? If anyone knows my story, they know this woman is just straight. I, I can't even call her names, all right? I can't be like, I can't stoop down to her level. Now, she said, guys are just leaving. First, no, 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 let me let me backtrack, right? First, she said, don't they know they're black? Don't they know they're black, right? Like, everybody around the world hates black men. And you know what? You could be somewhat right, you know, where to where they don't hate us, but they prejudge us because of media, you know, and women bashing us and the way society has made us out to be. But you know what happens? Guys go out and women around the world love black men. You know, some people just can't understand that Asian or many Filipinas are attracted to black men. Why can't you just accept that the black men that you don't like is wanted in the Philippines? And you, you ladies know that now, so now you're hating. But you can't stop what's happening. You can't stop it. And... Then she turns around and says, oh, well, no, they're manosphere bros. Oh, and then they're going to get places where it's lax. And then she made it seem like these guys are not going out to get to get married. Guys are going for both. Guys are going to get some tail. Yes, that is happening. Right? Because, of course, they're men. Because they're having problems. Not even problems with getting it. But the woman is just so uncooperative. And it's just disgusting in, in, in U.S. right now. It's like Simon and Gomorrah. Right? The women think they can have... 50,000 bodies like men. A man having 50,000 bodies, and I hate to use a big number like that, but it had to be like that, right? That's the only thing to understand is it's super controversial, something that's over-exaggerated, because that's how, you know, it's every woman is saying the same thing. But anyway, so I'm going to over-exaggerate, right? 50,000 bodies, um, and of course that's not the case, but still, it's different for a man and a woman. A man doesn't have an issue, the same issues that a woman has with pair bonding, right? But anyway... Then she turns around and says, oh, oh, that man is fair. Oh, so they're going out and trying to do. Come on now. It's just old, tired, and you ladies have to find something else. You ladies have to find something else. You know, yesterday, I actually right in the community, in both of my channels, I posted my wedding, right? And you know what I'm going to do? Here's a quick highlight of my wedding right now. Marriage. Is based on that covenant relationship with the, between Christ and the church. It is a covenant sealed with blood. This means that marriage covenant is unbreakable.
And as you can see, right, for me posting that, it's not to flex, but you know what? With these women, you kind of have to flex. Because there's a lot of guys. There's so many guys that's leaving. I know tons of guys that came out here where I'm at to the Philippines got married. Either they brought the ladies back or they stayed here. Tons of guys are leaving to get married. And you know what it is? This woman is mistaking passport bros for being only black men. Once again, confusion. Confusion. Once again, that's what's being done. But anyway, guys, let me hop into another video. And this is a woman here letting people know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Ladies, let's just admit we was wrong. We was wrong. Feminism lied to us. Um, simps lied to us. Older women who came before us lied to us. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We was wrong. There is something so beautiful um, about a woman that's able to be vulnerable and admit that she was wrong. Just, you was wrong, baby. You was wrong. Yeah, guys, and you see that? She said something so beautiful of a woman being able to admit she was wrong, right? And it was wild because it's like the same thing that a woman said yesterday, uh, a video posted yesterday, that farm woman and women, right? So she's saying the same thing but in a different way. And even the woman yesterday, she wasn't saying she was wrong, but she accepted. Acceptance is the next step towards, you know, a breakthrough. Acceptance. Accepting your wrongs, accepting whatever it may be for you to get over to, and get over to and get to the next step stage of your life, step or stage to your life. And that's what's happening here. Is woman, instead of saying, you know what, we were wrong. And, and guys don't even care if you if women say that, to be honest. And I just want to make that make that known, make that clear. Guys are not doing this and making these videos to say, oh, admit you were wrong. Oh, oh, take us back. Like women try to do, oh, take us back. Oh, they're complaining and they're not going and all the crazy other crazy videos you see. No, this is not that. Guys are not doing that. Guys are leaving loudly. That's what we're doing. That's what it is. That's what's happened now. Guys are leaving loudly, and you've had no choice but to leave loudly, right? And I commend all of the brothers out there, and but brothers, I mean, white men, black men, Spanish men, even African men, because you have African men leaving certain parts of Africa where women are extreme feminists, you know, it's happening. And men from all over, right? So... I commend you guys and say, keep pushing, keep trucking, because you know what? You can get out and find that same happiness too. But guys, I don't know what's happening with women thinking men need to listen to them or try to scare us out of doing what we want to do and finding happiness, which no man would ever would. But one thing I do know, there's definitely more to life than that.